Okay, we're going to talk about this fire extinguisher and we do have our, uh, some of our customers say, how do we operate this? And you go like, well, it's rather simple. First of all, when, when it comes in the box, this particular um, tube is actually unscrewed. So when you get it, it's going to be clipped there. So what you need to do is quite simply is screw it in. Away we go. And there we are. We're ready to rock and roll. You can use a small spanner just to tighten that. Uh, okay, now if I turn around, what have we got here? All right, so this is so that you can, when you store your fire extinguisher, you see that clip there. Handy little clip, isn't it? Right, and then what we can see here, there's a gauge which tells the pressure. Can you see that gauge? Righto. If it's on zero, we've got a problem, fire extinguisher needs to be replaced, but not with our fire extinguishers. Okay. So what happens in the event of a fire? Right, all you need to do is pull the pin out, right? And then just point at the seat of the fire, not all over the place, at the seat of the fire, and press this hard. And that out will come the F500 encapsulating agent, which is not foam, it's not toxic. So it's not gonna spray everything out of the way. It's gonna grab the oxygen molecule and snuff it out. And that's the big difference. So that's the first thing about it. Everybody asks, how do you use these things? The next question is, how heavy is it? It's 6.2, six kilos. Six kilos it is. So it's perfectly manageable for ladies and the men, not being sexist, but it's not something to be frightened of. Okay, so I'll put that pin in in case I decide to discharge. Right, okay, and then you'll see around here, there's a little tag. You see that tag? So when someone comes to inspect this fire extinguisher, they'll take a little um, hole out of the tag there. Okay, so remember on inspection. So what you have here is the normal maintenance inspection. So it deals with on the back here on maintenance. So every six months, don't forget, check it out, upside down. Double check, make sure that there's gas there, all okay. Every 12 months, you've got to get somebody who's a recognized um, person in fire extinguishment to check your fire extinguisher if you don't have our fire extinguisher. For us, our um, F500 has a 15 year shelf life, 15 years. The other chemicals, our competitors' products, have to be changed every 12 months, okay? So if the uh, person comes to check after 12 months, they may check, but they don't need to replace the, um, the material in the fire extinguisher. Okay, what, a, what an amazing thing, 15 year shelf life. Okay, the other thing you're gonna see in the box, and it's normally taped onto the fire extinguisher, is a little um, bracket, which you can screw on the wall, and it hooks onto the fire extinguisher, and you'll see it right there. See right there? It hooks into there and sits on your wall. Like that. Okay, and bolts on your wall. Personally, I prefer to have it handy somewhere near where I am and be able to move it. Particularly if I'm working on these motorbikes, and you can see here, I've, over here, you can see that I've actually got a fuel tank from my boat. So if there's gonna be anything occurring involving fuel, I'll bring the extinguisher over to the fuel. So, um, so what you have, and it says recharge after use. Common sense, once all the extinguishment material is out, then it's out, okay? So you do need to recharge it. So again, our biggest point here is it puts out lithium battery fires, okay? And that's the major thing, and you can see in my garage the amount of lithium batteries that are involved in motorbikes, etc. So. Um, what uh, I'm very keen to do for all our customers is give them an incentive to buy a couple of fire strikers as well. You can't go wrong with the fire strikers. You're in your garage, in your kitchen, in the back of your car, or in you know the glove box of your car, or in your boat. Fire strikers, perfect 
to take out with you. So we'll be doing an offer on Fire Striker, which of course, environmentally friendly, it's an encapsulating agent, it doesn't leave any res residual, residual uh, and um, is absolutely environmentally friendly.